everyone. Today's video is all about the latest in interior design trends for 2024. And yes, just like last year and the year before that, there are new trends again. It happens every year. It's totally normal. Things just change. Nothing stays the same. You might love one or two of these trends. You might hate one or two of these trends or all of them in fact, but I guarantee you, you do not have to adopt any of these trends unless you want to, guaranteed. I love showing you all the changes in design, but that doesn't mean I like them all. I have my own love-hate relationship with trends. Today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. They are having a huge sale right now, and I know you'll find something special to give this holiday to a special person in your life. They offer sustainable jewelry at very affordable prices, and I'm loving these new pieces that I'm wearing right now. I love a great drop earring. These are the sage earrings, a double ring hoop. It can be worn on its own or stand out in your earring stack. I love the hypoallergenic post and the tarnish proof 14 karat gold. Notice the lovely organic shape. So unique and classic at the same time. Pair these hoops with this lovely gold pebble necklace. I love that it's like a dollop of molten gold around your neck. It comes in two sizes. This one is the pebble mini. The weight of the pebble pendant feels substantial and the overall look is simplicity and luxe. You can make this a statement on its own like I'm doing here or pair it with other necklaces for a layered effect. And finally, this ring is such a great way to add a little color to your outfit. The faceted stone is made from recycled glass and I love the green and gold mixed together for all the warm vibes of the season. But it also comes in a stunning dark blue and a light blue. It's a difficult decision, but you'll love whichever one you choose. One of the reasons I love Ana Luisa is because they offer sustainable jewelry. And one of the reasons it makes a perfect gift is their packaging. Each piece comes with its own little fabric pouch like this, eliminating plastics altogether. I've kept most of my pieces in these pouches for safe storage. All of these pieces are sustainably produced. There's no unnecessary mining and they use recycled materials whenever possible. And they are 100% carbon and water neutral. Time is ticking, so if you're looking for a special gift for someone in your life, or you want any of these pieces that I'm wearing today for yourself, head to the link in the description box below and don't forget to use my discount code for an amazing 35% off your order. So let's get on with it. Here is my own love-hate relationship with the latest interior design trends for 2024. Working from home has become more common and even popular in recent years, especially due to the pandemic. And although some homes have always had a room dedicated to an office setting, many of us are going all out to create a space that feels more permanent, more intentional, and even more design worthy since we're spending so much time working from home. For instance, that guest bedroom slash office is now more home office than it is a guest room. Here we see a space that has maximum efficiency and productivity in mind with lots of storage and a large working desk surface. A day bed or a pullout couch can be used by your guest when they come once in a while, but you'll be able to take full advantage of your office all year round in this space. I love the idea of making that home office really feel like it's part of your own personal space or reflecting your home's overall look. In the past, we've been relegated to our work interior and its brand aesthetics, but now your home is an extension of you. You can design it in any way you like. Special wall treatments and great color are a great way to motivate you day in and day out. With video calls being such a big part of our online workday, designing an office that looks great and reflects your own aesthetic is kind of a thing. And even if you don't have a dedicated room for your home office, your desk area, no matter where it is, has become a mainstay in your home. So making it more productive and more pleasing to the eye is important. Built-ins make it permanent. Built-in cabinetry is such a great way to make a space feel more customized for your needs. I love all these cabinets maximizing wall space and storage in this small space. It's really important to keep your space looking organized and tidy and cabinetry can really do that for you. If you need a printer, let's find a spot for it to live permanently so that it's hidden but accessible. Is your home office part of your bedroom? Then make it more permanent. 
built-in cabinets can be used to link to a desk in the corner, creating a wall of storage and a more permanent desk setup. Even just adding simple shelves above your desk can make the desk setup more intentional. I love decorating shelves and surfaces with items that feel personal to you. And you'll want to invest in ergonomic furniture, especially your task chair, and even soundproofing your home office is worth your investment as remote work continues into 2024 and the foreseeable future. All of these tricks makes the home office feel less temporary and more permanent, more intentional and more professional space, your own professional space. One more space for me to design, so I'm loving this trend. One of the design styles from the past that seems timeless and ever popular is mid-century modern, and it's still such a big trend. With its sleek lines, organic shapes, and focus on functional design, it's everything that we love about Scandinavian and Japanese aesthetics. And yes, those two looks are still very appealing moving forward into 2024. Some of the most iconic examples of mid-century modern are design icons, like the Eames lounge chair, the Noguchi coffee table. So while I love the idea and concept of mid-century modern, and I love some of these iconic pieces, I'm less inclined to love the trend of a whole space designed around this one style. So I'm hating, well, hate is such a strong word. I'm disliking this trend, unless you're limiting your mid-century modern design to one or two pieces in a room. Here's a good example. I love the bed here and that nostalgic mid-century color palette, but with a more eclectic grouping of furniture. I find this more interesting than this bedroom or this one. Both of these rooms are heavily mid-century inspired. The trend is for more organic shapes, sleek and modern silhouettes, and natural materials. So it makes sense that this mid-century look is definitely still a big trend through 2024. I just think our homes are an evolution of style and an evolution of our own personal style, so I prefer mixing it up. Number three on our list, and this is a good segue from what I was just saying, a big trend is character-rich rooms. These are spaces that are unique to you. They look like they evolved over time and were not just purchased straight out of a catalog. You'll notice that pieces of furniture may come from different styles, a mix of modern, traditional, and even vintage. Each piece feels like it can tell a story. The story relates to your own story, your own personalized space. These character-rich rooms might feel like a pared-down version of a recent trend called maximalism. It was full of detail, patterns, and colors. This is a bit more restrained and a bit more controlled. It's full of special pieces in an envelope of a neutral space where those pieces can really stand out and take center stage like this beautiful green couch. An ornate mirror. An heirloom wall hanging. A pair of vintage lamps and pleated shades. This is definitely not the kind of interior that matches. It's an interior full of memories, full of eclectic pieces, full of personality, and it's all about you. So yes, let's have more of this trend. This next trend has been evolving in the last few years. We've talked about it here on this channel. Curves, round edges, and arches. All of this is still a big trend in 2024. And in fact, it's even more evident. Curves are everywhere. Curved sofas have been on furniture showroom floors for a few years, and that will continue. Curvilinear and flowy furniture, rounded shapes, all of this can now be seen in chairs, coffee tables, and cabinetry. And because they're rounded, they can be oversized and chunky overall. And you're going to see many irregular shaped rugs. Organic shapes are becoming a popular option even for your area rug. Think of area rugs as art pieces for your floor. So although I think some spaces are perfect for a curvy couch like this one, most of us don't live in spaces that make this type of couch the perfect choice, but I love curved furniture and curved cabinetry. 
I think it adds an unexpected shape to something that tends to be more basic and square. But I have to draw the line on an irregular shaped rug. I just don't think that amoeba shaped rug is the best way to reflect your artistic tendencies. Give me a rectangular shaped rug that sits under all the legs of your furniture every day. You might want to check out this video for all the rules around rugs. I'll link it below. The next big trend on my list draws from the very popular Barbie movie where Barbie pink became the predominant color of the summer. It was all about bringing that character to life in everyday life. So this trend is similar in that it's unapologetically fun. It's all about joy and creating a space that radiates positivity and energy. If you're someone that loves bold and vibrant color, this trend might be for you. The key to this trend is to mix colors that are evenly weighted in their intensities. They all stand out together. Artwork plays a big role in this joyful trend. It needs to pop with color. And I hate that term. But in this trend, everything pops with color. It's playful, it's unserious, it's pure joy. It's probably not for me, but that's okay. It's a trend that I don't have to adopt, neither do you, but I love looking at the beautiful, deep, vibrant colors. How about you? Join me on Patreon. Do you need personalized interior design advice? I offer up 30 minute design video consultations and I've helped so many people with their own design questions and their own homes. If you're about to embark on a home renovation, all you need to do is head over to my Patreon page for all the details. Plus hit that like button if you're enjoying this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for helping me grow this channel. And here's another color focused trend. It's called color drenching and it looks exactly as it sounds. Pick a color and drench your room in that color like this. This monochromatic look has been used to make spaces feel seamless, allowing rooms to feel larger and unspectacular details like radiators to disappear into that color. The idea is to treat every surface with the same color. It takes real commitment. The great thing about this trend is that whatever color you choose can be any color you like. Dark, saturated colors can make the room feel rich, dramatic, or cozy. They can also make the room feel calmer and less busy. It can be pale colors too. Pale colors can unify the space and make it feel larger than it is. And it's not just paint. You can use this technique in bathrooms with tiles. This might help with odd shaped rooms or low ceilings. I love this trend when you have wall moldings or paneling and you want to elevate the room and make it feel more modern. Painting all of the walls, baseboards and trim work the same color can make the room feel more sophisticated. You just have to pick the right color. Color palettes are definitely changing. Gray color palettes specifically are on their way out, especially cool gray interiors that feel impersonal and unimaginative. And just like in the last few years, 2024 is still moving towards warmer color palettes. We are wanting more warmth, more of a cozy feel and more personality. One of the biggest trends is a retro color palette. It's muted and vintage. Forest green, mustard yellow, salmon pink, warmer wood grains too. These make for warm interiors. The other color that has been trending in the last few years is our love of green. It's symbolic of our love for nature and wanting to bring the outdoors into our homes. It's also reflective of a biophilic design trend where natural materials are preferred and organic imperfect shapes are important. So you'll see a lot of green in the coming year. When you see the couch you're thinking of buying comes in a whole bunch of neutral creams and beige and then there's that one green fabric option, you'll know why it's there because it's a trend. And blue is still a big factor in design with Benjamin Moore's color of the year, Blue Nova, along with a whole slew of other paint companies declaring blue their own choice for color of the year. Blue is always a popular interior color because it's calming and serene. And we all need that in our lives. Personally, I love all the color drenched blue rooms. Serenity now. And lastly, I want to point out some key details, shapes or finishes that you'll see over and over in smaller home decor items and accessories. For instance, ruffles are a big trend. They add a fun detail to pillows and table linens and you'll see them in amazing candy cane stripes and gingham prints with fabulous colors. Stripes are actually very trendy on furniture and area rugs as well. Bold colors and bold striping can really make a piece stand out. 
scalloped edges and shapes are also a big trend moving into 2024. You'll see lamp shades, furniture profiles, and other decorative objects with this detail. A nod to our love of curved shapes and edges. Shiny finishes are quite popular with all the muted tones in our color palettes. Chrome is appearing in many of our home decor items like this table lamp. And lacquered finishes are also going to be a big trend. You'll see it in decorative boxes or trays for your coffee table, lacquered finishes on your hallway console, or this brightly colored table lamp. Notice that scalloped base? Home decor accessories are a great and economical way of introducing a new trend into your home without committing to a whole project makeover. So if you're liking any of these trends, maybe you can find them in accessories. So here's your takeaway. The latest trends in interior design reflect some of our deep desires. We want warmer spaces, we want more color, we want more fun. We want to be closer to nature, we want to showcase our own personalities. One thing that never changes, design does not stand still. It's always changing. And the best trend for you in your home is the one that best reflects you and your taste. So here's to our love-hate relationship with trends. It's always fun to look back on past year's trends. I've got several videos highlighting trends in interior design. So be sure to check back in with those videos. I'll link them all below. Also head to my Patreon page. I've got lots of tiers, including one where you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one video consultation with me. My patrons and I have tackled so many projects this year from all over the world. In fact, I had calls from the UK and Croatia, along with many calls from all over the US and Canada. So if you feel like you need some advice, head to my page on Patreon. And a big shout out to my patrons. And if you're interested in sustainable jewelry like the pieces I'm wearing today, I definitely recommend Ana Luisa Jewelry. I'm so happy to be partnering with them because I know they are producing beautiful pieces and trying to do their part to keep our planet happy and healthy. Head to the link in the description below and use my discount code for 35% off your order just in time for the holidays. Thanks for watching this little design tip. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss the next video. Leave a comment and let me know if you are loving any of these trends or if you plan to set your own up. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps to grow the channel. See you soon.